Hello dear students, once again good morning to you all. How all of you are keeping fine after a long time. You are coming again back to the classroom, which is the original classroom. So we would like to teach you with online classes. So, um, we continue our class from our 11 and right now we are in class 12 and today in this class we would like to take uh, learn about the poem called Desiderata. Desiderata it is written by, by Earthman 1871 to 1945. So that is the poem we are going to learn. Let us move further and understand this poem in detail. Uh, about the poem. This is a writer by Max Erman, 1821-1945. Max Erman was an American writer, poet and philosopher from Cherry Cute, Indiana, born on September 26, 1872. His parents were originally from Germany but migrated to his English teacher, Louis Peters, motivated him into the world of literature. In 1898, he published his first book called A Friend. Author of more than 20 books and frequently contributed to newspapers and magazines. The present poem was written in 1927. Please remember the date 1927, which gave him quite popular. And let us understand this term, technical term, desiderata. It is originally from Latin for desired thing. The desired thing of our life is an inspirational poem that offers a positive outlook toward life. We all need positive attitudes in our life, optimistic attitude, rather than developing the pessimistic attitude, optimistic attitude to achieve success in our life. This is what our poet is trying to tell us. Now, it is an advice to people to be good and kind to all and ask them to see world for its joys and sorrow and every where you find ups and downs or sorrows and joys, ups and downs in our life. So he is asking us to face both these things, accept both these things, ups and downs, sorrows and joys in our life. And he also asks us never to compare ourselves with anyone but enjoy our achievements. We have unfortunately a bad tendency with us. That tendency is to compare the world to us. I would like to tell one short um, story for you. That short story, one mom in a house gave news uh, to her two sons, small, uh, the big son and the first son and the second son. First son was uh, studying in class 5 and the second son in class 3. This student, this uh, two uh, brothers, they were bringing news. And after drinking half glass of the juice, the elder, uh, sorry, the, the smaller brother, he started crying. All of a sudden, after finishing half glass of the juice, he started crying. Then he, uh, the elder one asked, Why, what happened? Why are you crying? He's telling that, see, we are being married for half glass, we have only half more glass. Then the other boy, he also drank the half glass of the juice and he was not crying but he told, see I have half glass more juice to drink. See look at the difference. So we have always the tendency to compare with others. No, you are making any comparison. This is one of our poets is telling to us. Now, the poem tells people to lead a peaceful life and strive for happiness. You try to get happiness from whatever source that you have. Of course, not by any hook or truth, but in your own way.
this wrong achievement. So moving ahead of our life, moving ahead of our class, the next slide that is, what are the things our point is focusing here? The point is focusing, the point advises the people. It does not give except noise, but there is more peace in silence. We all, every time talk, he is saying that except silence also in our life is of noise. The second one, voice their opinion politely and clearly, but also listen to others. We have a tendency to shout at others, even for the small matter. I to do the same thing. But that is not the way the poet is saying that see, the extra uh, the voice opinion quietly, gently, softly. That is what he is asked to quietly and carefully and also listen to others. In every time, uh, instead of becoming a non stop agashwani, you know, just uh, sometimes we need to listen to the other side, the other person's story also in our life. Then, there will do not compare themselves with others. I have already explained that to you. Then, focus on their career, whatever we do, whatever profession, whatever job we do, focus on it. A career, however, humble it may be, it may be a simple thing. But try to achieve perfection in this world. Then, uh, be conscious of the world is full of tricksters, but remember that there are also virtuous people. So we live in a complicated world. Wherever we move, twisted are there, people are there to fool us. But at the same time, don't be thinking always for that world. Well, there are good, wonderful, pious, holy people also in this world. We need to take care of them also. Be yourself and do not imitate. Imitation that's a very bad thing. No, it not going to let others be whatever they are. No, you're not imitating. Be yourself. Be yourself. No need of imitating how what is his hairstyle. Oh, well, let's also do uh, the hairstyle. This is uh, we have seen mm, so many uh, youngsters wearing no love or pants or no waist pants. A stupid culture that has come from other side. No, no need of following, looking at the style of others. Then also you are being a preference of love and affection. Be sincere in your approach and attitude. Use your past experience and strengthen yourself. Of course, learn from the past that we have to do. Then do not indulge in depressing thoughts, negative thoughts. The moment you begin your uh, negative thoughts, Definitely, there is a chance of thinking yourself into that destructive majority mood. Be disciplined and dangerously yourself. Of course, discipline, if discipline is there, but the all the things will come into our life. Then, you belong to the world as much as any other natural element. You are not only the custodians of this earth, this other people, other creatures, they also have a place on this earth. Then be at peace with God and with your soul. Living in, uh, living with, uh, living at peace with God. Very important thing in our life. See, ultimately, we all survive on the mercy of the Lord. And if you are not peace with that who provides that God, then we will not definitely survive. We won't be uh, achieving anything in our life. Then, immediately all of the boredom and attention fight for happiness. In spite of all the complicated complications of our life, try to get a happiness in our life. Dear students, let us move further for the more student mentioning of this poem. Here I would like to read the poem for you. Just the director, the poet, or the poem. It's an inspirational poem. Let us understand. Go passively, calmly. Passively means calmly, hear the noise and the case, and remember what peace there may be inside. As far as possible, without, sur without surrender, be on good terms with all persons. Speak your truth quietly and clearly and listen to others. Even to the dumb and the ignorant, they too have their story. 
a whole loud and aggressive person they are vexatious to be spin if you compare yourself with others you may become vain or bitter for always there will be greater and lesser persons than you were enjoy your achievement as well as your plan keep interested in your own career however humble it is a real profession in the uh, changing fortunes of time exercise caution in your business affairs for the world is full of trickery but let this not blind you what virtue there is many persons try for high ideals and every player life is full of heroic be aware sir especially do not feign affection neither be cynical about love for in the face of all adversity and disenchantment it is as perennial uh, as the grass they can be the sound of the year they free surrendering the thing of you nurture strength of spirit to shield you in sudden misfortune but do not distress yourself with dark madness many fears are born of fatigue and loneliness beyond a call from discipline be gentle with yourself you are a child of the universe no less than the trees and the stars you have a right to be here and whether or not it is clear to you do not do uh, clear to you no doubt the universe is unfolding as it should therefore be at peace with god whatever you perceive him to be whatever idea you have and whatever your labor and aspiration is the noisy fusion of life keep peace in your soul with all its sham drudgery and the broken dream it is still a beautiful world be cheerful try to be happy that is the poem so the tone of this particular poem desiderate desiderate is a didactic that is mostly instructional prose poem the moral poem the faith is measured and calm emphasizing the advice contained within the line to be calmly assertive respectful of others non confrontational diligent emotionally strong principled and to cultivate a clear conscience this revelation is a wonderful poem for a contemplation and mindfulness type in many you i have a friend poster on my bedroom wall in a long week of visiting the poem prompted me to find a replacement for my study i like the artwork on the one that i found picked up took summary of this particular poem from the chapter chain this letter can be read as a blend of practical advice moral and religious philosophy and ethics all these things are included there the poem starts with day to day practicalities of dealing with the world that is sometimes equal or harsh moving on to the power of human love and ending with an injunction to be at peace with god and with your soul which i interpret as maintaining a clear conscience stanza 1 advise to remain calm on every the bustle of everyday life and to practice time be on good terms with people without giving up personal values and assertive do not be argumentative but remain calm in the interaction with others to whom you should be respectful and attentive even if you consider a person to be dull or ignorant everyone has the right to be heard as you would like to be listened the other person also would like to listen 
say, just listen their story, whatever it is. In the second, second stanza, the new error, let us understand the summary of this. So, please give me. Avoid people who are loud and aggressive, as they may upset your equilibrium. They may give so much trouble to you. It is unfortunate to compare your wisdom to other people as there will be always be those higher and lower in the picking order of the state. There are higher people and lower people, greater than you and lesser than you. <coughs> Any such comparisons are therefore likely to lead to vanity or bigger. Simply enjoy your own achievements in life and any plans that you may have for uh, furthering your own personal development. Summary of chapter number 3. As it is given here, you can uh, see, I will read it for you once again. Uh, whatever your pressure, pressure is, and do your best, as it is better to be employed, however, something the work might be than to be unemployed. Be grateful that you have employment. We should be happy that we have job. Be cautious when conducting financial transactions because many people will attempt to dupe you. It's a very important thing. But despite the fact that there are many fraudsters and this convent don't become blind to the fact that there are also many good people who have high moral standards. In every walk of life. Chance number four, don't pretend to be the type of person that you are not or to have feelings that you do not have. Be yourself. Whatever may be the thing, be yourself. No need of doing any other thing. Pretend before others that is absolutely not good thing for you. Most of all, do not pretend to love. A person when there is no love in your heart. How long that the hidden truth will be there? No. The hidden truth will come out for day. One day your original personal character will be revealed. So don't pretend before others. Again moving explaining further, uh, defer to the wisdom of the older generation. Learn. Learn from our parents, grandparents, great grandparents. Develop a strong character that will help you to survive misfortune, but don't imagine bad things that may never happen, happen to you. Maybe thinking of such things because you are tired or lonely. It's the, first, the point is telling us not to give any stress or not to pay any heed to the negative aspects of our life. Be satisfied with whatever you have with whatever we have in our life. Uh, to me, the last part we are coming. Don't be overly self-critical. Uh, you are far from fun or encompassing universe and more less important than any other uh, component within it. You may not realize this, but there is a predetermined and right path that the universe is following and we need to just uh, follow that principle. Chapter number 6, accept the reality of God or greater power than human, whatever you imagine Him to be. Whatever may be the idea of your God, trust in Him, believe in Him and try to be in peace with that particular loving God. Maintain a clear conscience, our conscience should be always clear, despite all of the dreadful things that happen, the world is still beautiful. With all the common complexities of the world, it is really a loving world, lovely beautiful world. Remain cheerful and more so for put your birth afford into this aim to be happy. Now, let us understand the theme of this particular poem that is written. Positivity and belief in self. These are the two several themes our poet is trying to tell us. Moving ahead to our one structure almost, we are reaching the last part of our presentation. So, for one structure of this particular poem, this is the title of two desired things. 
from latin which means disparaging or simply a way of life the way what we want it is a classical didactic poem with eight stanza of equal length didactic means to teach moral lessons of life simple direct and instructional give reason for the instruction positive way to look at life figure of peter to figure of peter that are used in this poem and then simply and illustration moving further uh, a form of this particular poem the poem uh, 28 lines divided into six paragraph or six stanza the first two and the last two stanza each have four lines the third and fourth stanza each have six lines that is the way it is divided there is no passage of the length of the line there is no rhyme within or at the end of the line there is no a conventional rhythm to the line the rhythm is conversational but not to the iambic parameter that is set to relate more closely to the normal rhythm of speech critical appreciation uh, we are coming to the end of this uh, presentation this uh, class uh, the title it means a way of life this is the writer it means a way of life it is a instruction given to life do and don't for better life an optimistic attitude toward world and life that strive to be happy this is what our poet is telling to us through this poem hope you have understood this class and for any clarification you can uh, type your comment in the uh, youtube here that uh, part where you are supposed to do that one well. so then or we will be clarifying the doubts again so again uh, don't stop yourself with this particular class alone you have to receive yourself with uh, further reading and uh, your own personal study all right thank you very much for coming